Mm hmm Well, okay. Oh, why don't you just text me the information? I, I gotta go. Okay, yeah. I, th I think I can get text. Okay, bye. You know, I love looking at old historic things. And to explain a little bit about what's here, I have with me Judy Pickard of the Agassiz Harrison Museum. So, Judy, what can people see here? Welcome, Jonathan, to our museum. We're the museum for the Agassiz, Harrison Hot Springs, and Harrison Mills area. Everything has been gifted and is part of our collection. We tell the story of the area and also the CP rail history of the area. Where are you guys located at? We're located in the old Canadian Pacific Railway Station that was built in 1893. It's probably one of the oldest buildings in the community and it's taken a lot of volunteer labor of love to keep the building going. So anything new here that people um, can Yes, out? this year we've um, underdone quite a lot of renovations. We've had the whole building inside painted and new flooring put in and that was all part of funds grant given to us from the District of Kent from the Wayward Pines filming that was done here and then outside we had a brand new walkway done from a grant that we had written. Um, so yeah, some major and really positive changes. How important is a museum like this for, for a community like Agassiz and Harrison? It is very important and very beneficial. We tell the story of our heritage and our history. Um, Agassiz is a small community, as is Harrison Hot Springs, and uh, we are run by volunteers, and everything we have, we try to tell the story from the beginning all the way through, and it helps to preserve what our community is. I'm just curious, like when other people from other parts of the world come here, because Canada is quite a young country, and if they come from, say, Europe or even China, um, what's kind of their response to seeing this, this place? Very much that so we are so much younger than Europe, but they're here for the community lifestyle, the rural aspect, the agricultural aspect. Of course, the Circle Farm Tour is very, very popular mm -hmm. to have people out and about there. and just show him how our community came about. Some of the clothing that we would wear years ago, to the sewing, to the agriculture, and then just showing them the community. The flood, the 1948 flood, had a big impact in the whole Fraser Valley, and of course it did here on Agassiz, and Harrison Hot Springs too, so very important. And then during the hot picking season, which was part of a large part of agriculture here, we have many First Nation baskets that we have in our collection, which were traded during the hop season. Go out around and drive around the beautiful area around here between Agassiz, Harrison Mills and Harrison Hot Springs. We're just in an amazing area and as you can see Mount Sham looking down over us today, you can't ask for a better place to live at all in the world.